Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today, and things are getting even more interesting. So over in um, Kidsville, we have some last-minute little refurbishment going on in that old store slash kids center um, near the theater, and some new bricks going in as well, from what I can tell. Um, it's really hard to tell from this angle. Can't really make out what they're doing in all around that tent theater, but that's my prediction. Um, over at the old tunnel, they are officially um, completed with driving in those steel piles and putting in the concrete formations. So that is officially done. Um, and later on the day, they're kind of like making them more visible. And this machine also is getting packed up and ready to leave or go to a different part of the park for a different project. So we'll have to see what happens with this machine. It is a really oversized machine that they typically don't use on coaster construction unless it's a really high stress area that needs a really deep footing. But typically they can use um, larger excavators with drill bits on them to make footings. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did see this machine leaving. It wouldn't necessarily mean there's no coaster footing construction going on. Uh, with that being said, the new Coke refresh station, which is my prediction, doesn't mean it necessarily is going to be that, um, is coming along nicely. Um, I do have some confirmations for you guys. So um, here's some tea, Amusement Insider's tea. So I do have confirmation that Tiny Toms will be staying at the park and be moving to a different location. And I think I know the location. I'll show you that when we get a, a shot of that. Um, the uh, Backlot restaurant is actually just getting a refurbishment, a pretty big refur uh, refurbishment, uh, to be a lot more like Lazy Bear Lodge in terms of guest flow. So that's going to be really cool to see, and that'll help with a lot of those lines. So really excited to see what that looks like. Um, and everything else, um, I guess I I'm hearing rumblings in the rumor mill that the food festivals are canceled this year. Um, so there are some entertainment budget cuts happening. Um, as you can tell, the park is spending a lot of money elsewhere. So with that comes some budget cuts in the park. And obviously entertainment is probably going to be the first department to receive those budget cuts. So um, everything else uh, in terms of construction, uh, they were packing up the drill bits, as you just saw a little bit earlier at the first maintenance tunnel. Um, not necessarily sure that is going to be just a maintenance tunnel now, um, as there are some signs that we might be looking at the actual maintenance tunnel on the other side. So there's signs that that second tunnel is going to actually be either a maintenance tunnel with shipping and receiving in there as well, because there is a loading dock style thing being built on the left side of the inner part of that tunnel. Um, and there's some curbs being constructed as well. The only really confusing factor going on right now with that second tunnel construction is the fact that there um, such high walls are being constructed. So um, the other aspect of this could be they're going to temporarily use that as a loading dock and dropping off dock for track supports or whatever they need to bring in. Um, and then they're going to turn it into whatever's coming outside of the mountain. Um, because we can't ignore the fact that the coaster could still just be coming out of that first maintenance tunnel and heading over to extreme and going back in. And the Alpen area construction, as you're seeing on the screen right now, has nothing to do with the new coaster. With that being said, Thunder Run's exit is completely demolished and the footings are ripped up up until about the mountain skirt. Um, the old little arcade building next to the Sprite basketball game looks like it could be what's becoming Tiny Tom's Donuts, but that is pure speculation. I have not heard confirmation of that, so please take that as speculation. Um, most of the buildings are down except for the little power room of the old Thunder Run station. So a little curious as to what they're going to do with that. And here is that really clear shot of what they're doing, making the um, steel piles super visible on the top. So we'll see what they're going to do with that. Outside of that, um, not much else to report on. Thanks for watching this construction update. Really excited to show you guys what's going to happen next week. Um, have a good one, guys. Enjoy your weekend and your March break. Bye.